Hey guys, Dre here. Um, I got myself some five meter five by five by LED strip lighting. Um, and so far it's been absolutely awesome. It's got a twenty four key remote, I believe it is. Um, with all different colors, brightness up now, flash, strobe, fade, or smooth, which goes through it smoothly. Um, it's really good. It's a really good bang, bang for its buck. It only cost me about 20 bucks and all I needed was this one simple cord here, which is about 15 bucks. And they gave me about 20 different bits here so I can use it for other stuff. But the problem is I'm facing is this white box here that I've just placed here for demonstration purposes. I actually took the circuit board out of that, causing the buttons to not work like they should. So as you can see here, when I turn it on, I click red, but it goes green. I click green, but it goes red. Yellow, pink, pink goes blue, blue goes pink, dark blue stays dark blue. So here's what I'm gonna do to show you how to fix it. Also, not only for the 24K remote, but also for the 42K remote, I believe it is. The next one up, the better one. Um, so all, you, all I need to do is press red. Screen. Turn it off. Once it's off but still plugged in, fix smooth. You turn it back on, see that it's still green. So you turn it back off and keep going until you find the red. Off, smooth, on. Off, smooth, on. It's on red. Now, green, yellow, pink, dark blue, light blue. Very, very easy fix, guys. As you see, that only took me about 20 seconds, not even. On the next remote up, there will be a smooth or a fade, followed by a 7. If it says fade 7 or smooth 7, follow the same steps as I've showed you, but with that button instead. Now, as you can see here, this is my actual LED strip lighting. I just put it behind these two cabinets, go from red, yellow, pink, to light blue. Very great stuff, very great lights, very cheap and very easy to fix if your remote goes bad. Not to mention that these remotes and this box here is only $2.50 on eBay. Now that's so cheap that even if I were to lose it just in my bedroom, I'd go and buy another one just because of how cheap it is. But there you go. Thanks for watching guys, I hope that it's helped you learn how to change it and make it work. Thanks, see ya. Now, just another little something that I wanted to show you with the remote. If your TV randomly decides that it wants to turn on throughout the night whilst you're using the remote, don't worry, it's not a ghost in your house. Don't freak out for two weeks straight before you actually realise that, you know, it's just your lights. Because if you have a look here, turn around. That's flashing. That is, my TV is about to turn on. And there you have it. Now, I still haven't figured out which button it is, or what series it is. I still haven't figured out how to turn it off. But all I figured out is that when you aim this remote over at this thing here, Somehow, this TV turns on.